The First Reformed Church of Saddlebrook presents to you weekly inspirational messages that preach God's Word. And now... Hi, Pastor Christopher, Christopher's Chat. Good friend David's with us again. And we're talking about big battles in our lives. A lot of times, a lot of days, we are tempted. We're tempted by things of this world. We're tempted by deceptions in our lives. We're constantly being tempted to be separated from God and to do basically what we want according to our desires or our flesh. And you know the consequences of that. It's dangerous. It's, it hurts. Uh, it may be temporarily pleasurable, but in the end it hurts. And so there's got to be a way to fight this battle. We hear that in Matthew chapter 4. Jesus fights in two ways and wins. He fights by remembering Scripture and remembering all of God's promises in Scripture. So that's one thing we can cling to. The other thing that happens is Jesus sees through the lies and deceptions of Satan and he realizes that we can't do it without God. See, Satan's MO, his way of working is he wants to isolate us from God. So we think, I'm important. Everything is about me. And that's, that's deception again. Because to win in life, to win these battles and temptations, we need to rely on God. We, when we're in the wilderness, where the story takes place in Matthew chapter 4, that's where we recognize, in challenging times, that's where we recognize that utter dependence on God is victory. Dependence on ourselves and our abilities, that will only last so long. But dependence on God, which is what the enemy is trying to keep us from realizing and, and living on, that's victory. So we encourage you today, don't be in despair. Be encouraged. Cling to the promises in God's word and recognize when I depend on God, I have strength that I've never imagined. And David wants to say, 